everyone. I am Meh Kumari, one of the generators of the Group 20. And we are here for CL246 heat transfer project with the agenda, air conditioning, design and structure optimization. Here's the list of all the team members. So let's know about working of air conditioners. It comprises of four main parts. One is the evaporator. Next is compression and the expansion mode. And most importantly, condenser, which would comprise a major part of our project. So air conditioner systems have condenser that removes unwanted heat from the refrigerant and transfer the heat outwards. The primary component of a condenser is typically a condenser coil through which the refrigerant flows. Since the AC condenser coil contains refrigerant that absorbs heat from the surrounding air, the refrigerant temperature must be higher than the air. So let's move on to the points which drove us to pick up this agenda as a project. Now, moving forward, we now have air conditioners that use a lot of energy. The condenser is the most common source of heating issues in air conditioners. The most common method of cooling the condenser is to use fins. We want to look at the most popular heat dissipation method so that we may create a system that has the best cooling effect. In hot countries, the temperature and pressure of AC system are increased considerably. This causes a decrease in the cooling capacity of the cycle and also causes an increase in the power consumption. Various combinations and configurations are investigated in order to find the most optimal solution while taking a range of aspects into account. We tried to do this by adjusting the thickness of the fins. We came across several publications while performing literature review that emphasized the issue of climate change caused by rising uses of ACs. As living standards rise and electricity reaches more houses across India, sales of ACs are increasing. The stock of ACs has risen dramatically from 2 million units in 2006 to almost 30 million units in 2017. ACs also put a large strain on electric grids, resulting in increased power plant fuel uses and worsening air quality, also contributing to negative climate change. This issue brief looks at ways to boost the market share of climate-friendly ACs, those that are energy efficient in order to enhance lives and meet climate goals. Reducing cooling-related electricity consumption lowers the danger of power outages and frees up electricity for other, more vital purposes for people. As we can see from the graph that a significant amount of energy is consumed by AC, this motivates us even further to work on this project. We are considering a simplified geometry of a condenser which are using air conditioning system. Here we have a cylindrical tube containing refrigerant and a rectangular fin which is attached to it. The work of fin here is to basically increase the heat transfer rate between the system and the surrounding. Generally, condenser contains a large number of such fins which are arranged in a way to maximize heat transfer rate. And we are considering one such fin in details here. In our system, we have a rectangular fin interacting with the surrounding air. This interaction results in source convection, which in turn results in the exchange of heat between the fin and the surrounding air. Here we will be looking at estimates of different heat transfer modes. The first is conduction. Heat flow by conduction occurs within a solid along the radial direction of the fin. Here the fin is assumed to be really thin. And that's why any uh, variations in the temperature along the thickness of the fin will be neglected and assumed to be constant. The second is convection. Heat flows by con convection occurs from the fin surface to the surrounding fluid in the axial direction. Heat flow by convection is perpendicular to the heat flow by uh, conduction. In this case, the surrounding fluid is assumed to be uh, fast moving air. 
the third form is radiation heat flow by radiation is neglect neglected as the temperature difference between the thin surface and the surrounding fluid is not so large we now try to approximate the values for heat transfer mode the first is radiation for radiation we know that the value is given by sigma ae t to the power 4 here radiation will be taking place from the fin to the surrounding as well as surrounding to the fin and since the fin will basically have two different surfaces we will multiply the uh, entire result by 2 so the final result obtained is sigma ae times tb to the power 4 minus t infinity to the power 4 the entire thing multiplied by 2 the final value turns out to be 0 0.06 by watt which will be assumed to be 0 watt and we will see why we now try to approximate uh, value for convection Convection will simply be H times area times uh, the difference in temperature times 2. And the value turns out to be 8.6 watt. Clearly, the value for convection is much, much greater than radiation. That's why we will assume radiation to be negligible. Uh, as we'll see, the temperature starts reducing exponentially. And we see from the above calculation that the heat flux is of the order approximately 10 to the power 1 watts. And now we finally obtain these simplifying assumptions. The first is that the uh, heat transfer coefficient is assumed to be uniform throughout. Second is that radiation, uh, the radiation exchange taking place with the surrounding is basically negligible. The third is that heat transfer, heat flux is considered to be uniform. And the third is that the entire uh, system is basically assumed to have steady state and constant conditions. So this is the technical problem statement. We are considering a simplified geometry, which is as shown in this figure. This is the geometry of an air conditioner condenser with a square copper fin with the dimensions 0.1 meters by 0.1 meters. Material of the tube is aluminum 1100. And we have been given the following data. The temperature of contact is maintained at 70 degrees Celsius. The air is flowing with a velocity of two meters per second and at 27 degrees temperature. We have to determine the appropriate Nusselt number correlation for computing the approximate H, which is the convective heat transfer coefficient. Further, we have to find the relation of efficiency for this geometry to find the optimum thickness of the fin, which can maximize efficiency. And this is our ultimate goal for this problem, which is to maximize the efficiency. At last, we have to calculate the heat removal rate from the fin. So the laser assumptions we have taken, we faced a lot of trouble in making the temperature profile for the rectangular fin as it was a 2D figure. So to simplify it, we approximate the rectangular fin to an angular fin using the assumption that the area of a rectangular fin is equal to that of a circular fin. This way, we simplify the 2D fin to a 1D figure. So here we see that in this calculation, R for the circular fin comes out to be 0.0564 meter. This is the temperature profile we obtained. So in this case, Tb is 70 degrees Celsius. And as we can see in the graph, it decreases with the increasing radial distance. That is, as R increases, our temperature decreases. Solving methodology. This is the modified symmetric diagram. We have an angular fin with a tube at the center containing refrigerants. Air is, air is flowing across the fin at velocity U and at temperature T infinity. For an annular fin, the general form of fin equation is given by the following. Let m square equals to 2h by dt and theta equals to t minus t infinity. We get the simplified equation as d2 theta by d dr square plus 1 by r t theta by dr minus m square theta equals to 0. The fin efficiency for an annular fin is given by the following equation, where i and k are modified Bessel functions of the first and second kinds. Note that for an active convecting tip, the tip radius R2 has to be replaced by a corrected radius R2C equals to R2 plus T by 2. Now, NU correlation. Uh, at the film temperature TF equals to 48.5 degrees Celsius, we have the following properties. Prenton number equals to 0.7. Kinematic viscosity equals to 18.6 into 10 to the power minus 6. Thermal conductivity of air is equals to 30 into 10 to the power minus 3. Thermal conductivity of copper K is equals to 398 watt per meter Kelvin. Reynolds number is given by the following formula, u into d divided by kinematic viscosity. Substituting the values, we get Reynolds number of the order 12,000, which falls in the turbulent region. Analogy used for annual correlation is a flat plate with constant heat plus conditions. 
So for turbulent flow, we had we have the following Nusselt number correlation, which is N u equals to zero point zero three eight zero into the Reynolds number to the power four by five into Prenter number to the power one by three. Here Prenter number is equals to point seven. So substituting the values, we get Nusselt number equals to fifty point five seven. Now the heat a convective heat transfer coefficient is given by H equals to K by D into Nusselt number. So substituting the values, we get at equals to thirteen point four five watt per meter square Kelvin. Now finally, we plot the fin efficiency versus fin thickness graph using MATLAB, and we can observe that at t equals to zero point zero six seven, we have a maxima giving efficiency equals to zero point zero nine nine four seven. Zero point nine nine four seven. So uh, now we will calculate the fin heat transfer rate QF at thickness zero point zero six seven meter. Using the following formula given, and we it turns out to be twenty eight point five seven watt. Now we will estimate the uh, qualitative uh, quantitative temperature profile using numerical analysis. We will solve the differential equation d two theta by d r square plus one by r t theta by d r minus m square theta equals to zero. So uh, these are the boundary conditions. At r equals to r one, we have theta equals to forty three degrees Celsius. And at R equals to R two, we have the convective heat transfer condition, which is H convective into theta at R two equals to minus K d theta by d R at R equals to R two. Uh, we will use the finite difference approach to obtain the numerical solution. Uh, in finite difference approach, we have first derivative written by d theta by d R equals to theta I plus one minus theta I minus one divided by two H, and second derivative written as d two theta by d R square equals to theta I plus one minus two theta I. Plus theta i minus one divided by h square. Substituting these two in the following uh, differential equation, we get the finite difference formula as following. Now we will enter this formula in the in the form of a matrix in MATLAB with the appropriate boundary conditions and solve the linear equation a is a x equals to b. We get the following temperature profile, where you can see at r equals to r one, we have theta equals to forty three, which was one of the boundary conditions. To conclude our presentation. I would like to talk about the major conclusions we drew from our study. So it was evident that after seeing the graph of fin efficiency eta versus fin thickness t, that there exists some value of t for which efficiency attains its maximum. And also, our ultimate aim was to reduce the condenser volume by optimizing the thickness of the fins, which would lead to increased heat transfer rate through AC. And hence, we reached our conclusion. How many times have I told you? Okay, the last one. Okay. So, before concluding our presentation, let's talk about the major conclusions we drew from our study. So it is quite evident after seeing the plot of fin efficiency versus thickness that there exists some value of thickness for which our efficiency comes out to be maximum. Also, our ultimate aim was to reduce the condenser volume by optimizing the thickness of the fins, which would lead to increased heat transfer rate through AC. Hence, our results are justified. But although the cost of material would decrease, but it would also lead to increase in the technicalities of making such films. Hence, pose some restrictions. Our team considered third a very elementary part of the condenser, which is one film and one tube passing through that film. Also, to approximate the numerical answers. We considered the rectangular fin to be approximate similar to that of annular fin, and while talking about future developments to increase the efficiency and heat flow rates for our system, we can also consider different combination of materials used for tube and fins of the condenser. So yeah, thank you so much. Sustain till now.